Hey guys, Ryan Fox here with a quick tip on crinkling of watercolor batiks. I'm sitting here, looking at the painting, it's finished. It's all been waxed. At this point in time, you have the option that you could just simply melt off all the wax and be finished with the painting. You're still gonna have a great painting, but that wouldn't be as much fun as doing this. <gasps> what did I just do? I just crinkled my painting. Now, you have to uncrinkle it, of course. So take the painting, lay it out, get it flat again. Be careful because you just crinkled it into a ball. You don't want to go too hard because you can tear it if you start trying to flatten it really fast. Now what I'm going to do, I crinkle it up. There's all these cracks everywhere in the wax. A lot of wax just fell off. It makes a gigantic mess. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some darker colors using a combination of the same colors in this painting. A little yellow ochre, which is not a dark color, of course, but it's what we've been using. Mix it with a little ultramarine blue. And then I'm literally, scroll my brush, lots of water. You want this stuff to get into the cracks. I'm just gonna start brushing it on the surface. In the really dark areas, you're not really gonna see it unless you add something darker. So I'm taking a little bit of that moon glow. Put that into here, some sections in here kind of moving it around now. The thing you really have to remember with this process is the color is going to be going into the painting a lot more than you realize. You can't see all the colors seeping into those cracks. But trust me, it's going in there. 